isolation preference, in children on the autism spectrum. Some parents of children with Asperger's and high-functioning autism may discover that their youngster seems to have difficulty making and keeping friends, and this may first become apparent in preschool, when children tend to start pairing off. If your child doesn't ever talk about anyone in his class, doesn't ask to bring a friend home, never gets invited to any of his peers' homes, and seems to be a loner in general, then he might be having trouble in the friendship department. Typically, People communicate with each other through verbal and nonverbal communication. While verbal ability is often a strength for children on the autism spectrum, nonverbal communication is usually an area of difficulty. They tend to overlook or don't recognize the meaning behind another person's gestures or facial expressions. This means that they frequently miss the cues they are given. As can be imagined, Interacting with someone who does not understand or use nonverbal communication can be awkward. As a result, some people avoid the child and relationships do not develop. When friendships do occur, they are usually built on a shared area of interest. That interest is typically the focus of the preoccupation of the child on the spectrum. Maintaining such friendships can be difficult because the child can be rigid and inflexible regarding the area of interest. In other words, his conversation rarely addresses other topics, and he tends to be the center of any conversation about the topic, leaving the other person to listen, rather than contribute to a discussion. Because the child on the spectrum is so focused on this interest, he often knows a great deal of detailed information about it. This can often be intimidating to other kids, who do not feel as much like an expert. Impaired social interaction also encompasses the disturbing social situations that many kids on the spectrum encounter. The term, playground predator, has often been used to describe kids who intentionally and vindictively single out a special needs youngster for teasing. Bullies often pick on kids who are easy targets and vulnerable. With their difficulties understanding nonverbal cues and having limited social support, Young people on the autism spectrum are often the targets of bullies. This may result in isolation preference. For information on how you can help your Asperger's or high-functioning autistic child to make and keep friends, click on the link below this video.